Welcome to another video on my channel. Now this is going to be a little bit of a different video. This is going to be kind of like a cut up of all of the game th games that I've played in this week in League. Now I just said all of the games. It's not going to be all of the games. For why that is, I'm going to explain this uh, when we're into the game actually. But this right here, I'm just showing my team right now. My team changes a little bit throughout the weekend league. This is why. I'm going to show you this at the beginning of every episode, just so you know where my team is kind of like at. Right now, this is the beginning of the weekend league. I didn't, ma I didn't make too many adjustments uh, to it before the weekend. I just left it there. This is the mud lineup that I've had for kind of like the past couple of days. Also, I'm pretty sick. I've been at home for five days by now, and s still my voice is pretty, pretty rough. It hurts a little bit to speak, not not too much. So I, I felt like I'm record recording the voiceover right now. It still hurts a little. So yeah, probably not going to be as loud as I usually am. Loud and obnoxious. That's how I be. But yeah, this is the team. Head coach is of course John Madden. West Coast is my offensive playbook of choice, and my defense is going to be the Miami Dolphins defense. And yeah, right now we have, we have the weekend league screen, and we're going to get into it. So, talking for 15, minu 15 minutes straight, it's going to be tough, so probably going to have to cough a little bit in there, just to get, uh, keep my voice from not hurting as much. First game against your boy, Loth, and the reason for why I'm not going to show you every going to be able to show you every game that I've played is some files corrupted I deleted them after I thought I had already edited the video I rendered the video and did not check if the rendering process actually worked properly just because it usually does without any problems because Premiere Pro is a pre pretty good program instead of it's usually working as it usually does as we <laughs> put nuts on his face and get the touchdown it usually works in this case it didn't I did not check before leaving the file and then I couldn't recover it also from the paper bin was not able to do that so yeah that's why we're in this situation pretty sad they were pretty good games All right there we forced a fumble pretty good games pretty much throughout the weekend even though these first ones usually are pretty easy they were not like this guy was pretty decent for a first game and the, the whole weekend league, weekend league was pretty tough now. Now I finished pretty well, I'm not going to tell you how I finished because I don't want to spoil the ending. But... <coughs> <coughs> you just heard nothing, that was just me. Uh, me showing the signs of a goal right there. Uh, we're up 7 points and he gets he busts over a huge run like I had, I had good run defense pretty much throughout the whole game up, up until this point. And he just busts a lucky run right there. We, uh, we don't get the pick I expected uh, Sean T to get a pick right there but he's really just getting lucky with a few uh, broken plays now right there Walter Payton shows off some good stick paws a uh, good run sticks through there got a touchdown so yeah pretty unfortunate drive how that turned out but second and ten still going to try uh, to put on Sean now right there press L2 without throwing the ball behind the line of scrimmage once you press L2 you have to repress L2 so that you're able to throw the ball again I didn't and that's why I was stuck in this weird animation. Now right there, I, perf I perfectly lurked his corner route. It was a sale concept. I was ready for it because that's pretty much one of the most common concepts you'll see. And he yeah, man just the two, uh, two uh, footed hurdle. Okay. Now right there, I almost lurked him with a uh, big fat defensive tackle. Almost got it. Almost got it. I don't know why they can't. Yeah, right there before. That's Sean T. No, it's not Sean T. Oh, wait, it is. My bad. I always get uh, mixed up with uh, Sean Taylor and Lawrence Taylor now right there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dart along the side. And also something that I have not mentioned yet. All of the plays that I'm using, you can find. No, right, right there. That's just me being an idiot and not going out of bounds. All of the plays that I'm running uh, in this video, uh, you can find on... Don't mess with me. If I were you, if I were you, I would watch all of my videos because that's a sick user look. Like, uh, it's really difficult to intercept these screen passes because pretty much once you are uh, behind the play, it's pretty much a guaranteed touchdown. That's what happened on with Bo uh, 2. Now, right there, that's that's a bullshit play. 
I bump him so that he slows down and then he just eggs my pet him and I think that was or no champ barely that was he just eggs him for a touchdown so that's bullshit but right there we we go back to the corner rod corner rods corner rods corner rods corner rods pretty much my whole offense consists of corner and post rods beautiful beautiful rod right there we get him in a big fourth down I didn't expect him to convert there uh, he didn't we got the stop we finally went back to him just uh, took, uh, took some time and didn't get anything going and we won the game uh, by 17 points so even though this guy was pretty decent um i feel like i played very well i did what i needed to do and got a pretty comfortable victory now old lady mayo something like that he's got a pretty pretty decent team like my team's better now right there i i mean i already get lots of voice cracks as is <laughs> but being sick doesn't help the matter any um yeah we get the we get the pick six and right there running a wide receiver post setups like not taking any chances i was about to say i'm going down no i'm not going down that's something that i very very rarely yeah they rarely did this weekend league for no particular reason just me wanting to be an idiot now right there he should have he should fumble the ball because he ran straight into a pet tillman hit stick he got destroyed and didn't cough the ball up as a wide receiver so it's cool though we're gonna fight back and right there didn't see that he inverted his cover three so that's a little trick that i can give you guys if you don't want to get beat by uh, cover three beaters or cover four beaters for that matter come on man pick that ball if you don't want to get beat by one play touchdowns either versus cover three or cover four uh all you need to do is put the outside cornerbacks in deep halves now right there a beautiful corner rod once again my whole office pretty much consists of corner rods and post rods don't want to discriminate against those all we rods in the red zone beautiful beautiful dot up 14 to 3 beginning of the second half third and 12 god damn it voice crack god damn it you're killing me um nothing is open pretty much i'm just uh, running around and if i stop sprinting there i gotta I got the dot of a lifetime. Like that's the first down if I don't sprint all the way through the ball, uh, uh, through the throw. But it's cool. Right there, I got everything locked. That's I personally don't have trouble facing uh, big time one for six out of gun boundary because I know pretty much how to pit, pick up the blitzes. But if you don't know how to do that, it's really rough. So what I would recommend you to do is if you're facing gun bunch online, just blitz the hell out of it. I've shown I've shown this blitz also. Just check that video out. Really, really good blitz. Definitely recommend you to run it. And if your opponent cannot s stop it or block the blitz, rather, it's going to force a lot of rage quit. Or quit. It's gonna force a lot of rage quits. As this one does not. After that, I got my I completed five weekly tasks and uh, and I got Bruce Matthews. Look at that. Also, I got a 87 Carlos Hyde. I'm a Seahawks fan, he's, uh, I think he, he was a Niner at one point, so I dislike him. He got me 28 coins, though, uh, K coins though, so yeah, since then I like him a bit more. Next game versus Kanye East, that's a great, great game attack. No, it's not a great one, it's, it's a decent one though, can't hate too much. Now once again, we're facing Gun Bunch, so what do we do against Gun Bunch? We blitz the hell out of it. <coughs> Got being sick and recording voiceovers is pretty pretty rough, but we're gonna fight through it. <coughs> so what do you do? You get a pick six by blitzing the hell out of it. Once again, let me reiterate that. And then you force a fumble. Then you get time in the pocket, and then you just throw a corner around and swerve it back for a touchdown in the end zone and get the. Easy, easy victory. Now that was not too tough of a game. I lied when I was when I said that every game was tough. Not every game. Some of them were pretty easy because my opponent just realized that I'm pretty nasty at the sticks pause. So uh, this is the uh, fourth game. Yeah, I can count. Uh, this is the fourth game of this weekend league. He's running a pretty good scheme now, right there. I'm, I don't know why I was being an idiot and did not use a big crossing route. That was going straight the other way and use it the one that was manned up 
I don't know why he ended up kicking a field goal. So I guess it wasn't that bad. It's still pretty embarrassing what I did. Now right there once again. First play of every game, check. Make sure to check if your opponent has most. Because if he has most, that's just... Fuck. <coughs> 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 That's just automatic nuts on his face now right there. Of course I'm being an idiot and not convert on my moss. Throw a pick. He gets the ball back and Eric Dickerson. He, he's, he's just a problem. He's just a great card. Make sure to get it, get him if you can. He's really glitchy now. I don't run the ball a lot. Which is why I don't want to waste. In the waste. Quote unquote waste. Because Eric Dickerson if you get an ability on him. You really don't waste an ability spot in your office all right there a beautiful beautiful diamond catch i did not wait as long as i should have waited all right there accidentally snapped the ball and i throw a pick six yes i i, I don't know what i was doing i, I don't know what i was thinking there i, can, I can't even uh, i can't even reason out my mistakes for being because i played a long time the, this was the fourth game of weekend again. I was just making mistake after mistake after mistake. Now right there, I thought that was a pick. I thought that was a guaranteed pick, but I got over it thankfully, over the uh, cloud flight, and nothing happened. Now right there, the corner was open beautifully. I get the possession catch, so I'm making good reads. Like I'm not making horrible decisions all the time, but it's just that I'm. Making those mistakes for no reason, pretty much. Now, right there, we are thankfully going to get the tackle. Or are we? Please tell me we are. Yeah, we are. Yeah. Uh, half is over. I'm not playing horribly, but we're make, just making dumb, dumb, dumb mistakes. Now, right there. That's something that happened to me a lot during this weekend. I got clicked on. Uh, the D line like every time I tried to quick adjust and it was bad. It really got on my nerves because it's one of the worst feelings uh, like that you can possibly have now right there. I thought that I could get glitchy with streak specialist on Mars, and I obviously I couldn't. So yeah, that was a no. That was a quick back out because I didn't feel like playing the game. Let's remind ourselves what he did, what my previous opponent did. He he ran the ball and I threw him two picks. Three picks rather. Three picks, two of them were in the red zone. So yeah, my opponent really didn't earn that last one, which is why I was pretty pissed going into this game. Now versus God is perfect. It's a pretty cool gamer tag. Um he's also got a pretty good scheme, I remember. He's got two good tight ends. I think Taysom Hill is one of his tight ends and then Darren Waller. So yeah, pretty good team. Now right there. That was a good route combo. I just tried to not get hit stick right there. Didn't do that perfect of a job uh, trying to do that. But it worked out fine. We didn't fumble. So that's always a plus because fumbles on the receivers happen all the time in weekend league. Now right there, that's a beautiful pass. Out corner, I think I have post flag lead on him rather. So whenever he runs a post or a corner uh, route, he can pretty much take any hit sticks and he won't drop the ball. Right there, a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful dot to my uh, Randy Moss in the end zone. Gets both feet in, and that's a per beautiful touchdown. Now, right there, that was. See, that was a horrible play by me. All right there, breaks it for a second. Like, boom! Boom! Oh, yeah, yeah. Who? Sean Taylor put him on his ass. Are you kidding me? That was, that was an amazing hit. Like, that's the thing uh, with Enforcer. Once. Uh, Eric Dickerson breaks one tackle or makes one chook is so uh, susceptible to uh, getting in four series six now right there. If you want to force a fumble, you obviously have to uh, get ahead on the ball and we didn't do that. All right then, a beautiful rack. I thought I got in there when I was playing the game. Now looking back on it, it wasn't even close. But then we just get Bo Jackson to finish off the job. And we're in the end zone. It's 14 to 14 right now. For some reason, me being an idiot made me. <coughs> you kidding me? So, two things. Me being an idiot made me record a voiceover uh, when I'm sick. And also, me being an idiot made me basically press my 
made me baseline press my cover my cover four twice in a row one time f uh, for a field goal and then the second time for a touchdown all right there if you couldn't see it i swerved a little bit just to make sure that i got that catch and then i'm going straight back to the same setup that i uh, just threw a touchdown on earlier and it's just a beautiful dot it's like it's as perfect of a it's as perfect as a pass can be. All right, then fourth and one. I got the chance to get the stop back. He throws a beautiful, we are at a beautiful hard flat, and we get the pick that we wanted and that we deserved. All right, there, get it going with the simple corner out setup. I tried to fit it back in there. I don't know why, but I just things don't seem to go my way in this game or this whole weekend league. He gets the pick with Devin. Then Bush, yeah, then Bush, yeah, that's right. And he gets the ball back. Now, third and 11. This is his read on third and fucking, excuse me, third and fucking 11. This is his fucking read, and he's in the game with me. It's crazy. And saying, these people, if you if you force them to pass the ball, they just throw it straight at your face mask. I mean, and then he makes a stupid decision like that. Like, how how is this dude in the game with me? No, thankfully, he fumbles. I wanted to outswerve the punter right, right guy there. I couldn't quite. But I'm still in the position that I want to be in. I get the ball. I have a chance to score now right there. Look at me being smart and not throwing a pick like I have the last couple of drives. First and goal now going with my patented setup. It's not patented by me. It's, it's, it's a pretty common setup. So don't take that as me saying it. But still, it's a touchdown. It's a great setup. Make sure to go use it. I've something that I recently found out is that you shouldn't throw it uh, near Dion. But something that I recently found out is that these uh, these wheel routes, especially the one out of match post, is far better versus uh, if if it goes to the wide side of the field. Now right there, once again, don't throw it near Dion. He tried to cover three with it. It didn't work at all. Neon Dion put his nuts on his on my opponent's player's face. And just Mostyn just said, give me that, went up and got it. So, yeah, I got the win even though uh, the games went, some of the games went pretty unfortunately. Um, this game went uh, my favor though. A shout out to Dion, he sealed the game. Two great picks, especially the one Mostyn, and that's just, that's an amazing clip. That's definitely going to be the thumbnail. Now we're at the end of the video. Thank you very much for clicking on this video and watching it. Some of my friends said that I should uh, uh, thank my viewers for watching only after the video is over, not at the start of the video, which makes sense, you know. Gotta, gotta say that sounds reasonable. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you liked it, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Either or, or if you can only do one because it just seems like too much effort uh, for you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. I will hopefully see you in the next video. Make sure to go check out the offensive ebook and the defensive video on the splits that I was using in this video. I'll see you in the next one though. Peace out.